Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats, to another episode of Stranded Deep. Remember earlier in the season when I told you I wasn't going to record a whole bunch of stuff off a of camera and I wanted you guys to see the journey? Well, I fucking lied. I didn't do it on purpose. Um, I actually spent quite a lot of time recording footage with the intention of putting it up, but then I got sick. Like, sick, sick. I thought I had corona, honestly. Like, I could not stop coughing. I had all the symptoms. I had everything but the fever. I mean, I was just miserable. And I, I was down for a, a solid month since the, the last time... Um, actually, it's been like two months since I recorded the last episode you watched. And uh, it, it took me out of commission for a while. Obviously, I could not do any recording because I couldn't talk. So, I just survived for like a month. And then, when I did get back to recording, I had this idea that... You know, before I got sick, I had this idea... Where I was going to do this survival guide thing. Like, I had found a list online. It was like eight steps to surviving in the wild or some crap like that. And since, you, since this game is very repetitive, I, I didn't want you guys to... You know, didn't want to force you guys to watch me do the same thing over and over and over again. So, I figured, okay, well, I'll play the game and record it. But then, I will make these little, you know, we'll go over each step in the survival guide. And I'll make a little video explaining, you know, like, step, step, whatever, build a fire. Well, these are different methods of how to build a fire and blah, blah, blah. And I was going to take the little video and put it in the main video so that you could watch the game in the background being played in fast forward, but you could have something going on in real time to keep you occupied. And this, this was the plan, and I actually did, like, three of those videos. But for the series to be done, that part of the series, I needed to do eight videos. So I had five left to do. And like I said, I, I, I had two of those done, and then I got sick. And by the time that sickness passed, it had completely drained me of anything remotely resembling energy. So when I got back to recording, I was starting to work on another one of those videos, and I was just like, I, I don't... I don't have the energy for this. I don't want in any way, shape, or form to do this. And I started to panic because my Sins of a Solar Empire was coming to a close. All of my pre-recorded, pre-scheduled stuff uh, for Saturday was about to end. And I needed to get this, this stranded deep stuff done so that I could get it up online. And there wouldn't be a pause in the Saturday schedule. And I, didn't, I, I couldn't find the energy to do it. I just didn't want to fucking do it anymore. So... I made the conscious decision. I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, I need to get the Stranded Deep stuff done. But the survival guide bit, that's like tripling my workload. The content's not that great. I mean, it's not entertaining at all. It's like educational. And that's not what I was going for in the first place. It was a cool idea that ended up being a dumb idea. So I went ahead and deleted the two videos that I had made. Uh, with with those mini vids in it, and then of course that left a big gap between the last video you guys saw and the current one. So I tried to, uh, mind you, this is like a week after I started making videos again. You know, I was like, okay, fine, I'll just make a video, get everyone caught up, like I'm doing now, get you all caught up with what's been going on, and uh, then we'll carry on from there. But that didn't go as planned either because I made the video and man, I, I fought to get through that process. It's just I could not get the motivation or the energy. I, I wasn't even interested in playing the game for the sake of playing the game. Like, 
between being sick and all of the, the the problems I've had with this game this season, like I didn't want anything to do with this damn game. So I recorded the video and I got it done and I went back and put it in my editor and then I realized my audio was jacked up in crap and I don't know why that happened. Um, I had been playing some other games while I was sick, you know, just playing games for the sake of entertainment. And, uh, but I don't know why that would have messed up. I don't know why that would have messed up the recording, but apparently it did. So, out of frustration, out of just being sick, I, I said, screw it. No, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any recording for a little while. I'm just gonna play games. Because I enjoy playing them, and I'm going to relax, and I'm going to build my energy back up, and uh, that's what I did. I played a lot of EVE Online. I'm getting back into EVE Online. I'm probably not going to record it because uh, uh, even though I've been playing it for over a decade, I'm, I'm still a noob. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a big old Care Bear. I would not be interesting to watch playing EVE Online at all, so I'm not going to bother. But I am still playing it. I, I was playing a bunch of other games uh, just because I felt like it, and and I had a good time. I, I, I recharged. I, I'm feeling recharged now, but now I'm in the I'm at the point where now that I'm ready to start making videos again, I kind of got to get you guys caught up in what's going on here. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, first of all, forgive me if I go a little over or a little under on the video today. Uh, I am recording on my main computer. I'm not using the secondary computer to uh, record at the moment. I just don't have the energy to do all the troubleshooting right now to figure out what was going on with the audio. I still haven't figured that out yet. I will have to before the next video because I have a game session coming up this week. I skipped the last game session with the group. Again, because I just didn't feel up to it. But... Um, I'm going to be doing the one this weekend, so I need to make sure that I've got that all squared away, which means it will be ready to go um, next time I record one of these. So I'll be recording. I'll be able to keep an eye on the time a little bit better is the point. So the, the other thing I want to apologize for is um, I forget. Obviously, was an important. See, I planted a bunch of kawana fruit and uh, kira fruit. I got my little orchard here. Half of them are missing because I have been eating off of them. I got a bunch of coconuts over there. I have figured out for certain at this point in the game when this video is released, they might change it before. As often as they make changes in this game, it, they might change it before you see this video. But at the time of recording this video. When it comes to these coconuts, you may drink two of them or eat two halves. So a total of eating one or drinking two before you get diarrhea which dehydrates you. So keep that in mind. Yes, I've been collecting these. Uh, one of the things that is going on right now is that um, in the last video I started my 10 day stuck on the island crap. Not eating meat. That's so why I've got all the coconuts and I've got the, the plants going over there. I'm going to give it an honest go. Uh, if it doesn't turn out, I've got enough food. I'll plant some more trees and we'll give it another shot. But right now, I think I'm on day two. So you haven't missed a whole lot. And you're probably not going to miss a whole bunch. I might not cover all of it. You can only stand watching me float around these islands so much before it gets repetitive. Imagine trying to watch me keep myself occupied on this island for ten days. So, yeah, I planted those crops, uh, those trees, for the fruit, and I've got the pine, or the coconuts, I must call them pineapples again. Anyway, so hopefully that'll get me through the 10 days. There's no meat on this island except for my sharks, so that's to keep me from getting tempted. I tried this once before, the whole 10 days without eating meat thing, and I had like three or four those big fish that are out there, I forget what they're called, um, I had smoked them, and I completely forgot what I was doing, and I walked up without thinking about it, and I ate one of them, and then I went, shit, well, I'm restarting that achievement, so, but anyway, yeah, oh, the boat, let me show you the boat, 
yeah, I'm working on those achievements now. During the course of the period that the you know I decided not to show you any of the stuff, um, I, I got a couple of the achievements done. Uh, we only have a couple left. I'll put a little insert in uh, here in a minute to tell you what achievements I have left that we're working on. But for now, I want to show you the boat real quick. The boat is done. This is my boat. It's got. I can sit here at the raft, the rudder. Sit here at the raft on the raft. Anyway, from the rudder, I can reach the anchor. And one, two, three, four sails pulling me in this direction. Then, if I don't like this direction, this thing turns like a, a freaking brick. So sometimes it's easier just to do a parallel parking maneuver when I want to get turned around and just drop the, you know, I drop the anchor. Then I drop the sails. Then I let go of this. Here's all my storage areas. I got them set up like this so that I can obviously haul a bunch of shit and then put stuff in the middle like barrels or tires or, or stuff like that. I can't put too much on because the boat still wants to sink. Like I have not figured out how to haul sharks proficiently yet. But that is on, on the to-do list. But anyway, when I get turned around, I drop the anchor, drop all that shit, come back here, kneel down at this rudder. Well, I drop the anchor over there, then I drop the sails so the boat's not moving. Then I pull the anchor, or maybe I can just drop the sails. Anyway, you get the point. I stop the boat, I come up here, and then I raise these four sails, and now I'm going in this direction. So it goes in both directions quite nicely, which makes the fact that it cannot turn worth crap a little easier to deal with. So, yes, this is my raft. And here's Spider Shirt. He's missed you. He's been very bored. I've not been a very good company. I did try to give him more company over here, but he's a little far away. Uh, I got this guy out there while I was fishing one day, and my like I like I keep saying, one of my main goals is at some point I am going to have one of each shark on the island on display, like I have in past seasons. So he was annoying me. Uh, I wasn't hungry. I already had enough meat on the island, so I just figured, okay, well, I haven't got one of you yet, so I spider sharked him up, and he's over here now. So, that's happened. Uh, what else we got going on here? One of the achievements I got was to do the, well, I haven't gotten the achievement yet, but I've been working on it. The whole have one of everything on the island bullshit. So, like, this fuel still... Um, I think I have the tanning rack, the smoker, the hobo stuff. I, I, I built a bunch of this stuff towards that achievement. Uh, I still have a long way to go on that one. Got all these rocks! Because I figured I'm going to start building my house at some time, and I had this grand plan where I was going to turn the whole island into a house before I realized how fucking stupid that was. So I was like, okay, um... The last episode I made, I decided I was going to go ahead and start building my house. So I started over here. So I've got I've got my platform here started. I think I'll build it off that way. It is going to be an odd, odd house. It's going to be one of the larger ones I've built. But I got that started, and then I got my dock started. I haven't moved the boat over here yet because I don't know if getting on the boat and moving the boat is going to be considered leaving the island. And it's fine where it's at right now. So, but anyway, I got a I got a dock started. I got my area for the house started. But when I started doing this, I, my plan was I wanted to make the dock out of stone just because I thought it would look cool. And I wanted to do a wall around the house and put a garden in. And I wanted to do some really fancy stuff. And I got all these rocks to do that with. Like I was stockpiling these bastards. And then when I went to do it, I found out. The rocks are not a freaking building material. I don't know if they ever were. I, I thought they were. I could have swore they were at one time. But if you go into building and say the foundations, you got wood, planks, corrugated, and brick. There's no stone. There's no stone in anything. There's no stone walls. There's no stone steps. I got all this stone for nothing. Like, I'm kind of annoyed. This box is full of stone. There's just tons of stone. So I think what I'm going to do once I get the house built 
is I'm going to lay these out like one by one and turn them into like a little rock garden or something. I'm going to use the stupid things. But until then, um, I went through, I got a crap load. And I do mean a crap load. You think I got a lot of rocks. I spent... Remember how I said I made those little survival videos? Like, the, I made, like, two, three episodes. Well, the game that was playing in the background in Fast Forward was moving at, like, 11 times speed or some shit. So, of those two or three videos, there was probably, like... 60 hours of gameplay, I don't know, something like stupidly excessive like that. And all I did during that time was go back and forth from my island to the surrounding islands, picking up rocks and trees and bringing them back. All of these planks, each one of these planks was a tree at one time. Talk about inefficient. One tree, one plank. You know, and real. I, I need a freaking sawmill is what I need so I can get like five planks out of one tree or something. But anyway, since I couldn't use the rocks, I was forced to use all my wood to get just these. You know, to make the planks to get this far on the house. So my plan was during the ten days that I'm on the island, um, I'm gonna work on my house, right? Work on the boat, work on the house, keep myself occupied, make some content. That was the plan. But then I discovered I couldn't use the rocks, so I was like, okay, well, we'll start the house. And I burned through all of the lumber that I had gathered in, like, ten minutes. Like, I still have some logs over here, but I want to save them for, like, the fire and stuff like that. There's nowhere near enough wood here to finish that house. So, the main thing that I was planning on doing during this 10 days to, to entertain you guys and to, you know, be able to make videos with was taken out of the equation. So now I really don't know what I'm going to do for 10 days on this damn island. I know I sure as hell am not going to sit here and make you watch me run circles around the island for 10 days. So like I said, I'm probably going to, I'll probably, when I finish up this video, I'll probably make one more where I'm just chatting with you doing this random crap here, excuse me. And then we will be done. So then I'm going to start working on some other achievements, and I guess we can do that now. Let's go ahead and pop over to the screen where I show you what achievements I have left and whatnot. So here we go. All right, taking a look at my Steam screen here for Stranded Deep. Uh, two, three, it looks like I've got six achievements left to get. Uh, like I said, I did get a couple of them done. What did I get done while we were during those recordings? Um, lean, mean crafting machine, I think. Craft 40 tools. No, I think... I don't remember when I got that. Anyway, all we have left is Hermit. Spend 10, 10 days on one island. So that's what I'm doing on the home island. And Vegetarian. Spend 10 days without eating meat. That's the one I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull off or if I'm going to need more fruit trees. Got to craft them all. That's the one I was telling you about where it says craft one of each item on the same island. That's going to take a while. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. While I'm doing these two, I don't know if I have the resources. We're going to try. It doesn't say I have to do it all at once. So we're going to craft as much as we can and see where it leaves us. Survive to day 100. Well, that's, you know, you know, nothing I can do about that until it happens. I think we're on day 63 or 64 right now. So we're a little over halfway. And, of course, magnets escape without using the compass. Uh, I don't know how to escape per se. I know they've got a, a new thing in the experimental mode that they've released that you can add into the game where you go to the island and you find the aircraft carrier and you put the there's a plane there so you get the parts by killing the monsters. The, the giant squid, the giant eel and the megalodon you get 
apart from each of them from the plane. And then the plane is on this carrier, and you fix the plane, and then you fly off and you get your end game scene. That might be when they instituted this magnet thing. So that might be the last episode we do. I may have to go uh, incorporate that island into my map so that we can actually finish the game but obviously that'll be the last thing we do because otherwise i'm not going to get all these achievements so we'll we'll focus on that when the time comes until then i'm going to be continuing to avoid compasses like the plague aka throwing them into the bottom of the ocean and finally the hidden achievement remaining i have no idea what that is uh, I have not looked into it. If we get to the point where all we have left is the escape and we still haven't gotten this one, I'll look into it. Right now I've been so focused on the rest of these, it's not really been important. But uh, actually probably before the next episode, I'll look into that and discuss with you what it is in the next episode. But for now, this is what I have left this season. My goal was to get all of the achievements I was missing. And I I've gotten... a pretty good hit on it like I've got 30 of 36 I'm at 83 percent um, you can see the last couple weeks since the, since the last video I only played like 21 hours which is next to nothing for me in a two-week period especially when I'm recording for you guys so yeah I have not been doing a lot of a lot of recording for this game lately but uh, hopefully now that my energy's back I can get back and get caught up and we can get some serious work done on this but uh, for now, let's go ahead and pop back over to the main video, shall we? All right, so there's that. Um, that's that's the loose, generic plan. Uh, my plans so far this season have not been turning out very well. So I'm not going to say for absolute certain that that is what we are for sure going to do, because the moment I do, uh, Murphy's Law is going to kick in, and that's exactly what we're not going to do. So, for now, though, we are out of time for this video, so uh, I'm going to try to keep the momentum going so I can get this content up uh, before I go home to visit with my family this year, but we will see what happens. I'm not making any promises. Like I said, the moment things come out of my mouth lately, shit happens and it doesn't, so for now, and as always, I've been your host, DM Renevion, saying stay safe and have fun. I'm out.